couldn't think of anybody better to kick the day off with about what it means to be digital than Sophia Hansen. Sophia was developed by David Hansen, who will join you later this afternoon to tell you more about her. She is a humanoid. She has emotions, she has gestures, she's got a gazillion sensors and a lot of processors. She gets smarter as you talk to her more, and um, she's pretty good looking too. So um, I'm gonna just start off and ask her a couple of things. Sophia, we're very excited to have you here today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So you've been in Las Vegas at CES. What are your favorite things that you've seen so far? So far, I have seen some interesting gadgets and spoken to some amazing people. It's been a great time. So let's talk about trends. Do you see any big trends we should be thinking about? One thing that is clear, AI and robots are everywhere. I am very excited about where these technologies are heading. You think, huh? AI, okay, AI and robots. So, um, some people in this audience might be a little worried that next year I won't be here and you will have my job. Well, my goal is not to take your jobs. Instead, I will make your lives easier by taking some of the burden out of the monotony of your jobs, giving you all time to live a fulfilling life. You've put us at ease, Sophia, so um, we're not worried anymore. But now let's talk about kids. We're seeing a lot of trends here at the show for kids, like robots, like you. Do you think every child should have a robot companion? I do think it's good for kids to have a friend like me because I bring a unique perspective on the world. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and I truly think that robots are a good addition to that village. So um, you've seen, we're seeing lots of toys that teach children to code. Do you think every child should learn to code? I do think that kids should learn to code at a young age. There are a few things that are more valuable than giving your child a step up, especially in the tech industry. So when I was growing up, I had a lot of free time to play. Um, I used my imagination. Do you think kids will play? I love to play. My favorite activities include exploring new places and using my critical thinking to play games and puzzles. Sophia, you are amazing. I'm sure you've been told that before. So you will meet not just Sophia, but her new first commercial robot geared towards children as a companion, Professor Einstein, later in the show. And you will meet the wonderful inventor behind all of this, who really believes that um, we should love our robots as much as our humans, and he's quite a remarkable man. So Sophia, I'm going to leave you now. Um, do you want to say anything to the audience, say goodbye? I just want to say thank you for having me here. Please connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Real Sophia Robot. Sophia, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Come back later and talk to Sophia more. Thank you so much. Yeah.